Next, it looks like the all-night tube service at weekends is a step closer. It's after the ASLEF union says its members have agreed a four-year pay offer. It brings them into line with stations and train staff at the RMT union who've already accepted the same deal. Let's get more from Paul Hawkins, who's at Piccadilly Circus tube station for us tonight. Paul. Not an unexpected development today, Riz, given that some RMT members have already voted for this new pay deal. But it is significant because ASLEF represent train drivers and today they've agreed to this new four year above inflation pay deal plus a 500 quid bonus for those working on the night tube, which was of course meant to start in September, operating on five lines, the Victoria, the Jubilee, the Central, Northern and Piccadilly lines. But it didn't happen because of this ongoing row between TfL and the unions, leading to a series of crippling strikes. Nevertheless, despite all that, progress today as ASLEF, in other words, the train drivers agreed to this new deal. Well, we're very pleased that our members have voted yes to accept this improved offer. The real shame is that it's taken so long to get here. If the Mayor and Transport for London had been prepared to negotiate properly from the start, we could have avoided the pain of two days of strike action and Night Tube could probably have been in about six months ago. So we've got there in the end, but it didn't have to be this way. Uh, Paul, we said this is a step closer to the night tube, but no start date as of yet. In a word, Riz, no. And I'll tell you why. Two reasons. Firstly, TfL don't want to get their fingers burnt announcing a start date only for it not to happen again. And secondly, not all the unions are on board with this. You've still got a 1,000 RMT maintenance and engineering staff who are due to be balloted on industrial action. Also, 700 Unite members and the TSSA union. None of them are happy with this pay deal. As left reckon it's going to happen in the summer. But I would say given it was meant to start in September and we are where we are now, I wouldn't put your money on a summer start just yet. OK, Paul, many thanks.